want, uh, he wants more, don't you? Creepy jar. Yeah, that's it. More. Hello, fellow gamers, and welcome to another Green Hell episode with the Unkempt Gamer. Thank you so much for joining me for another little how-to episode on elevators. This one in particular, it's about elevators, uh, as it relates to the beta. And uh, that, I want to stress that this is the beta, so if you're watching this at a later date uh, from when it was recorded, this might already have hit live. The purpose of this video, we're just going to go over some uh, things about the elevator you may find helpful, along with ways, uh, things that maybe we can implement uh, in order to uh, make this thing better. Before we get into that, though, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers uh, for your comments, your questions, your feedback, your critiques, your positive <laughs> reinforcement, just everything. I guess what content creators call engagement. I just really appreciate everything that y'all have done. It means the world to me. Uh, I also wanted to thank Creepy Jar for creating this environment where we can all talk together, learn, share ideas and whatnot. Um, just, this has just been a wonderful, wonderful experience and I hope this train keeps a rolling. But anyway, let's get to it. So I'm on the second floor of this elevator right here. Yes, this convenient little piece of machinery. Um, the idea behind it is, uh, that as far as I've experienced at least, is that um, it could be a little convenient lift, uh, particularly uh, if you are building uh, higher floors or if you are wanting to furnish your existing floors. And it's very simple. You just hit the E button like so. You can bring all sorts of stuff up here, and when you want to bring them down, let's say that you've used all of these to the extent of your needs, you just hit E, the stones come back up, and voila, you're good to go. So as you can see, it is a nice little area of convenience uh, when it comes to building on each individual floor. It can be very powerful because it carries more even than the sled. And by the way, if you wanted to learn more about the sled, uh, there's going to be a video uh, link at the very end of this episode. But uh, yes, you can carry one extra slot right there compared to the sled, which right here, still very trusty rusty, but you can only carry two rows. Whereas right here, you see I've got long sticks, green coconuts, and mud bricks. You carry quite a bit. I, don't ask me why I... You need coconuts up there on the second floor. I just I just filled it with what we had. And we have a lot of coconuts. Look back over there. <laughs> Another nice benefit to the elevator is that it's not very difficult to build. Four logs, six long sticks, four sticks, seven rope. And the most difficult item, I would say, is the big stone. Of course, rope is never there when you need it. But the big stones was the most difficult part. And in this area... We've got two areas. We've got that large rock over there, and then just to the east over there. I think that's east. Yeah, just to the east over there, we have uh, a little riverbed where we can go and get stones. To we Basically what we did was we <laughs> took the sled over there, put a bunch of stones in there, brought it back over here. Wasn't a big issue at all. Another nice benefit to using elevators is up in tree houses. Now, I don't have an example set up here. However, in our multiplayer, when we first started building tree houses, it was a pain in the rear end going up, down, up, down with three logs, one at a time. Even if you had two or three people helping, they all had to do that. Now what you can do with your tree house, you have your elevator, drop it down, pop in all your materials. You can put, you know, 20 long sticks. You can put, you know, <laughs> 20 coconuts if you want, whatever, and wheel it up to your buddies. A lot easier. That's where it's going to shine. I've mentioned that before. Multiplayer. Same thing with the sled. These are really going to shine, and it really promotes some teamwork. Now let's also talk about some of the things that need a little bit of work in regards to making this tool even better. One thing that we have noticed is this happens sometimes. <laughs> where... The elevator turns into a space elevator. And if you notice, both sides are doing this. I don't know if, if drop a comment, please let me know if that's happening to you as well. I have this save file set up. And I'm planning on sending it to Creepy Jar with a link to this video so that they can see it. And of course, a timestamp to this part. Hi, Creepy Jar team. How you doing? Uh, yes. This has been a constant issue. Uh, my uh, buddy Keith and I, uh, who you've see in this video as well 
rebuilt this and now we're already having an issue with it we rebuilt this as well and as you can see just over the course of this video now we're experiencing issues with it once again so yes if you're experiencing that issue I want to hear about it maybe I just have a corrupt save file I don't know what's happened to me before but yes would love to know your experience with that next I'd like to talk about one of the areas that could be improved upon when it comes to the elevator one thing it's it's very uh it's just very single-minded of purpose i guess you could say so you can see right here it's at the very top and you know what before i get started i'm gonna have some uh so, some assistance from one of our live streamers say hello to everybody keith <laughs> how are you doing everyone oh, i'm so used to talking to myself in these things I'm not used to somebody being here so thank you keith thank you for all you do and if, if you want to check us out in multiplayer live streaming keith joins us on friday 6 p.m central time make sure you check us out over on twitch there's a link down in the description but uh, yes, I need an assistance for this, as an assistant for this, because we are going to remove the single use, I guess you could say, of the elevator. Because the way this one is set up, it's on the top floor. If we were to hit E on the rocks or E at the top, it's going to go all the way to the bottom floor. However, what if you want to put some stuff on the second floor? If you're like us, we like to build a building like this first, and then we furnish it. And we've got our beds over there, you know, so we have an area to sleep and whatnot. Of course, we don't need a cooking area because <laughs> development build. But, um, yes, so we'd, we'd like to use the second floor, but we'd also like to use the elevator. The only way we've been able to do this is to build a second elevator over here that'll go from the second floor to the first floor and vice versa. It would be a lot more convenient and simpler in my opinion if you had one elevator and you could select where you wanted to go. So for example, let's say it's on the third floor and we wanted to get to the second floor. Instead of hitting E, maybe Creepy Jar could have an option where we right click it kind of like with the containers we right click it and it'll say, you know, floor one, floor two, floor three, whatever floors it's not on. Like for example, in this one, it would say floor two and floor one. We would just right click it, hit floor two, and it would go to the second floor. Of course, you'd also be able to do it up there on top as well. All right, so you don't have that right now, but there is a workaround and that's what Keith and Bali and myself are gonna do right now. Yes, he's very excited, he can't wait. <laughs> so I'm going to go all the way up here. Yeah. And this stuff around here, the, don't don't you worry. This stuff around here, this is for another video. So hee hee. Little teaser there for you. But we're going to go up and I'll just demonstrate how this this works typically. You hit the E and it goes down. Then the rock goes up and you would have stuff in there, okay? So you could you could kind of ferry stuff back and forth. So what we're going to do, Keith, if you don't mind, uh, get into position. <laughs> if you are in multiplayer and you want to go on the second floor, we would just hit E right here. And you get your teammate with the, th uh, the strongest skull. And it stops it, as you can see, right there. Keith with his superhuman skull. And uh, I'm not saying you have a thick skull. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you're a strong guy. And then you can come here. And as you can see, you can take logs out or put stuff in. And look, yeah, we got something that must have fallen through. Okay. And, oh, if you could just move your head just a tiny bit forward, Keith. It's saying that it's in use. There we go. And you can do it like that. So um, the problem with this, though, is that now I'm tying up another set of hands that could be doing something else. You know, Keith is great at getting raw materials. Uh, to and from camp and it would be a shame if, if he he also likes to go out and collect stuff like ore and bring it back It'd be a shame if this is all he was able to do. So Here we have this right here now Keith if you don't mind moving Thank you, sir I'm gonna hit E again and this time if you notice it doesn't stop where he was at it Goes all the way to the bottom floor and we do not have access to the materials from here. And if I hit E, we don't have access to them at all. And it just goes all the way back up to the top floor. So this is one area. I think um, there could be just a little bit more improvement on a wonderful tool to just make it all the more awesome. Keith, I want to once again, thank you so much for helping me with this little exercise. I really appreciate it, buddy. Oh, pleasure. 
Now the next item isn't so much critique or feedback or anything like that. It's more of opening up discussion on whether something should be changed, and, and that that something is 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 as simple as the name. Uh, it is currently called you know the elevator, which typically, in my experience, I know you can move freight with an elevator, but you typically just move people with it. Now, if you're from the bar service industry, like in your past and whatnot, uh, you may be familiar with the term dumbwaiter. Uh, dumbwaiter, while it's typically used to carry food, other, but it, it can also be used to carry other necessities, we'll say, from different floors, particularly in large houses. How do y'all feel? Do you feel that the elevator is an appropriate name for it? Uh, do you, I, I know the term dumbwaiter, it does have that one word in it that is, is, is not a nice word these days. The term comes from... Yeah, I've done a little bit more research on this than I'm willing to admit. But the term comes from the early use of the word, which was silent. A silent waiter is where that come from. comes from. The reason I bring that up, it just comes into the next portion of, uh, the, uh, of this video. Once you're done building, using this to carry up wonderful, you know, wonderful materials, uh, heavy materials. What do you do with it after that? The one thing that I can think that you would be able to do is to ship large amounts of items up, like, for example, to a pantry. Like if you have maybe, for example, a, um, a, a fresh kill, you know, maybe you could load that into the sled. Hopefully one day, like, let's say you have an animal carcass, load two or three capybara in there, bring it back to camp, load it into the elevator, maybe the dumb waiter raise it up and if you have a resident chef in your multiplayer team or if you're the chef you just head on up there and prepare dinner for everybody or for yourself just a couple of things to think of in regards to changes that could be made to the elevator to make it more awesome but folks i do hope you enjoyed this video if you made it this far please don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel it helps my community my channel out very very much Gives a little tip of the hat to YouTube to recommend this to other people. Get, get the word out on my channel. But with that out of the way, I'd like to wish you happy building, safe building, and many blessings. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Take care.